hi everyone welcome back to my channel code canvas in this video i will explain how you can create gulp based task to generate css from sas and using browser sync you can auto reload the browser so basically i will create few tasks using gulp and after that we can test that how that gulp is working to generate css from ses for now i have browser sync installed on my local if i change anything in css for example let me change the color it will auto reload and change the css for that i have installed browser sync the next step we need gulp gulp is a toolkit to automate and enhance your workflow using gulp you can create task and you can generate css javascript and you can use it to automate your process for that we need to install gulp npm install gulp the next thing we need says before that once gulp is installed we need to create one js file on root of our project gulp file dot js and in that file we will create our task the next thing we need says you can check in packet.json file the browser sync is already there gulp has been installed and ses is also there the next thing we need is gulp ses and for that i will add slash dev it means it is a development dependency we don't need on we don't need it on production server so it will be gulp ses once it is installed we can start writing tasks in our gulp file.js yeah it's installed and as you can see in packet.json it is dev dependency so for gulp file we need to include that module gulp and using gulp we can create task for example so which will create a local host server and in callback function we can use browser sync and for browser sync we need to import browser sync as well browser sync is equal to require browser sync dot create it will create browser browser sync instance using browser sync dot init method you can pass on which folder you want to create a server in our case it will be app so this is a very basic example of gulp task to run this we need gulp space task name that is so it should open the server and we can see that in a browser see it's working fine but it is only creating server it will not reload if you make any change it will not automatically reload because we have just created server we haven't written code for reload we will do do it in a while the next thing is we need to create ses and ses task will create css out of scss files what is scss let's see scss is 
in simple terms advanced css it has many features like you can create variables like any other programming language you can assign values you can use those variables in your css file not css exactly your scss file you can write to your code like this a nesting is available you can create partials and import partials in other scss files you can create modules as well you can create mixins a kind of functions you can also use inheritance in in css in scss in other terms you can also use operators as well in scss so basically scss is advanced css for that we need to create folder for example scss and in that scss i am creating one file main.scss and for example i am just adding one class background color is equal to yellow green and removing that from here just for an example so we need to create a task that will compile this scss file and dump that code into this main.css file which is included in our html page the main.css file so basically we will write our css code in scss file we will not touch .css file and gulp task will com compile that css and dump into main.css file for that we need to create task again gulp dot task the task name we can give says and in callback function we need to return something return gulp dot src and in src folder we need to give the path of the scss files app scss and star dot scss it will consider all scss files dot scss files from app scss folder dot type here we need to call scss function which will be available once we include sc s a double s is equal to require gulp says for that we need gulp says and again require says so we can use the says as a function dot type gulp dot destination where we need to give app slash styles this is the folder where our css will be dumped styles dot type and browser sync dot stream this ss task will take all dot scss files from this path will call ss function will dump all styles css code into this destination css let's see how it works before testing this let's watch all the files for our change gulp dot watch app slash css slash star dot scss 
and in the callback function gul dot series the task name which is says the task name it's simple again what the gul here app dot star dot html and on change we need to call browser seeing dot reload function it means all the css scss files will be under watch and whenever any change happens in scss files it will call this task and any change in app folder and in html files dot html file it will reload the browser using browser sync so this is it and to make it perfect we need to create one default task for example start that we will call from command from gulp dot series and we will give the first serve as a command and second argument says so we need to run this gulp start command it will call serve it will create a browser html local and it will watch the scss and html files the next in series it will call says as a task and it will dump css from scss to css files let's see the task name is start this one first it will call serve task that should create a local server yeah that is fine and once we make any change in main.scss for example i am making background color red it will reload as well as the main.css file is also updated as you can see in a main.css file the background color is now red let's make some other changes font size let's make it extra large for example it will auto reload and the css has been applied in that body let's say i am giving h1 color white for example as you can see the title is h1 is now white but if you notice in main.css file the css is written like this body space h1 and in our scss file we have used a nesting body h1 but browser doesn't understand this browser has main.css file which is there in link and it will reload css from this only the main.css let's make some other changes for example mm, font size is equal to mm, large or larger and it will in the css if you notice here in your browser the script is there the browser sync which is used to reload the browser and in css let me show you in head the css is main.css but whatever we are writing is in main.scss so in that way we can write our code in scss files and it will auto generate the css files and 
also you can dynamically write the code for variables you can create mixins functions and there are many features available in the sas you can use operators as well so this was an example how you can use gulp sas and browser sync and if you have noticed using this you can develop your projects very fast you don't need to reload every time you just need to save the code it will auto reload the browser and the process is also very nice all you need to do is create tasks for your specific requirement and that's all gulp will do the rest for you i hope you learn something new today and please like subscribe see you soon thank you